Well, talk about a topsy-turvy week when it comes to weather. Sunshine yesterday, pretty grim here today, Mitch, but there was enough time for the game to move on and, and change complexion just a little bit. Yeah, just enough for England to feel like they're on top here and they did get a few wickets out there this morning. Uh, I thought the rain was going to come in a little earlier. I was told that it was going to come in just before the, the day's play. But it did hold off for long enough for England to and Jofra Archer to get his first test wicket. There was a little bit of uh, talk about the lengths that he was bowling yesterday, I guess. Uh, a little bit short and not making them play enough. It was a little bit like that again this morning. It was probably a little bit short. I still feel there's probably a little bit of pressure there, a little bit of nerves maybe. Uh, but he was able to get Cameron Bancroft on the back foot and then he pitched one up. It came back nicely. It actually, the seam wobbled a bit and it came back off the seam down the slope, hit him on the, on the pad in front and he was given out. So first test match wicket for England uh, for Joffre Archer and they're always special. So it was great to see that as a fan of the game. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, they, they continued on a bit of a roll there. Usman Khawaja uh, got out not too long after that. He was looking great uh, again, and uh, they got him four for 80 uh, at the moment. So England looking, they would have felt pretty good going in. Uh, it was just before the break, the rain stopped, stopped play. But yeah, it's a bit of a shame because the test match is going so well. And it's one of those test matches that I think anyone can still win it. Um, Australia will still be quite hopeful they have to chase down the runs and then they'll have to start from there again so we just need this weather to stay away it's, it's really horrible today well, well it does look it is really horrible today it, it, the forecast is set fair for the weekend so hopefully it, it looks like we'll get two yeah. full days I mean, it's an interesting one isn't it because that 258 by England just look you know okay but actually that looks like a pretty decent score and and perhaps you know it is very difficult to bat out there well, the conditions wouldn't have changed too much now since they've been covered up and the rain stayed around, so the pitch isn't drying out. Oh, I did ask uh, Tim Payne this morning how the pitch played. I said it looked like it was hard and there was a bit of dust, and he said, yeah, it was, it was a little bit drier than we expected. Um, I don't think that would have changed his decision um, on the first day. I think they were always wanting to bowl, mm -hmm. stick to their strengths. So uh, it was just interesting to hear that from him. But... Yeah, oh, these are the hard ones to play in because you've got to be prepared all the time as, as yeah. a player. You're in the dressing room. They look like they were taking the covers off uh, towards the back end of the day. And so as a player, you're thinking, okay, we're home now. and But you've got to switch back on because you're potentially going to be out there. So another day tomorrow. Hopefully yeah. we see two full days of cricket coming up and, and we see a result. Yeah, I absolutely hope so, because he's talking about it being hard for the players. Let me tell you, it's hell for the journalists watching the <laughs> covers go on and off. Hopefully, two full days coming up.